Hey guys, we are at Lake Whitney in Texas, the farthest south I've ever been so far. I've never seen this lake before, I've never been on it, and this one right here, guys, it's gonna put my skills to the test. My guest down here at Lake Whitney is a striper guide who doesn't even crappie fish on this lake. So that's something we gotta get figured out, but first things first, I gotta get checked in. Nice to meet you. Y'all have got an awesome place here. Thank you. You've got everything that you would need without having to leave. You've got a ball court. You've got a swimming pool. You've got some of the coolest cabins that I've seen. And you've even got a ping pong cabin? <laughs> yes. That is definitely different. And that would be uh, worth coming to see anyways, a ping pong cabin. Awesome. Uh, I saw a covered fish house down there. That is great for your guests to be able to go fish even if it's raining so they don't have to worry about the weather and still having a great fishing trip. And I've got to see if y'all got any of them crappie out here. <laughs> we do. All right, well, I'm gonna go check these rooms out. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Well guys, I'm gonna show you just exactly how that I break down a lake on something I've never seen before. The very first thing I'm gonna do is check the weather app on my phone, and I'm gonna find out what is going on with the weather so I know what to expect and what to watch out for. And what I found is we're at the beginning stage of a cold front, and we've got a 12 plus mile an hour straight line out of the north wind. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pull up my Google Earth and my Navionics app and find out where I'm gonna be shielded from the conditions. I'm gonna pull up Google Earth and I'm gonna look for any banks that are on the north side. That way the wind will be going over the top of my head and I'm looking for anything that looks like it may have a high wall to give me more wind protection. Now I'm gonna pull up Navionics, which is an app on your phone, iPad, and I'm gonna look for a channel that has a flat on it that swings close to that north bank. And now that I've found three or four different locations on where that I think I can fish, I've gotta get out there and go look for fish. So now I'm gonna look and see what the lake level is so I can adjust my graphs and make sure that I don't tear nothing up or get hurt while that I'm out here looking for these fish. All right, I've got my game plan together. I'm gonna get out there and we're gonna go try to execute. I've spent most of my life chasing. Chasing success, chasing money, chasing respect. Truth is, nothing has brought me joy like being right here on the water. Rod in hand, hook on the line, chasing crappie. I am a crappie angler. These are our stories and this is On The Hook. Hi, my name's Corey Vincent with Guaranteed Guide Service. I'm out here on Lake Whitney today. Uh, I've been on the lake since 1998. I grew up here around Whitney. I caught my first striper in 1976, and I've been chasing them and addicted to them ever since. And I'm hoping to learn a little something new. We have a great crappie population here, and I just never have targeted those species. I actually get to take a day off from guiding somebody else. I'm hoping Jeremy takes good care of me, teaches me a lot, and puts the fish on the hook. Morning, sir. What's going on, Mr. Vincent? Hard work and clean living. <laughs> good to see right. you, man. How's it going, man? Man, I'm excited to learn a little bit about crappie fishing today. Well, I got to tell you, I'm going to cost you some money today. Oh, goodness. I come down here yesterday, and I flat got on them. Well, good, good. I'm excited to see how it's done. Well, man, uh, we got everything uh, going against us today, but we gonna go out there and see if we can't catch something. Well, I'm excited, my <laughs> Let's friend. Let's go, I'm man. excited. Whitney, from what I've heard, is mainly a striper lake, but we're gonna put this dude on a map for some of these crappie. There's there he is, brother. 
Yep. Need Get some help. help. Oh, that's a good oh, one, Yeah, man. that's a good one. Oh, I got my net hung. Get off of there. Come here, fish. <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> awesome. Yes, sir. Lake Whitney crappie. I would have never imagined. Really? Yeah, After all, I mean, how many years have you been guiding here for Striper? Since 1998. <laughs> Since 1998. And that the right most crappie there. I see are the ones in their stomachs. Those son of a guns will eat everything in the lake. That but right there is a, a toad. It's a good, <laughs> good fish. On the Hook is presented by Crappie Monster in partnership with Cornfield Fishing Gear, Guthrie Tackle, Skinny Water Marine, and Red Gold. Well guys, we are out here. This is Lake Whitney and man, it's a really cool lake. I've got uh, Mr. Corey here with me with a uh, guaranteed guide service. He fishes for striper. And today we're gonna try to open his eyes to the crappie <laughs> possibilities here on Lake Whitney. We're fishing timber this morning. We're looking around for timber that's got balls of bait that you can either see on top of the water busting or I can see on one of my graphs, whether it's side down or forward. And those are the trees we're concentrating on. And a cold front's hit, we've got wind, but that's not gonna dampen our mood because we're gonna mess around and find some way to put them on the hook. Uh, when you're fishing trees like this, I go slow. Just because you're gonna get hung up, we got wind blowing, at least it is in our face. You can see my jig going down right there. You are right in there somewhere. Oop. See that fish going down? There's your jig. Drop on down. Here's your jig right here. Do I need to go to the left? No, just straight down right there. Right there. You're right in that fish's face. That's the one that just bit me. There we go. A good one? Yes, sir. <laughs> He thumped it good. He thumped it right. <laughs> thumped it good. He knew the assignment. That's right. Even though it broke down striper fisherman gets lucky every once in a while. Boy, he choked it. He, too. he ate it. He ate it. I mean, he flat ate it. Heck yes, uh, probably the first crappie I've caught on this lake when I was intentionally trying to catch a crappie. Really? Yeah, and I've been here all my life. <laughs> it's just one of those things, you know, it's just, uh, you know, the striper fishing is what this lake's known for, but they're thick in here too. These crappie are thick in here as well. That's one of the reasons I wanted to come here. Some of my buddies told me that there was giant crappie in here, and I I said, well, I've never heard of it. Where's it at? Well, you don't hear of it if you don't striper fish. That's exactly right. Well, that's something we need to change. So let's go down there. <laughs> let's and, do it. And that's what we did. <laughs> yes, sir. Good fish, man. Good fish. It's even starting to feed up a little bit there. I'll tell you what. They've been a little bit ornery on me. I'm not. All right, drop down and then raise up again. Nothing to it, brother. Nothing to it, man. Nothing to it. Now, what is this that you're applying? This is JB's fish sauce. Okay. This right here is the Pantastic scent. Okay. And I'm gonna drop it in there and see where we got those short bites. Uh-huh. I'm gonna see if that might entice them to go ahead because there's some good fish right there on this side of that limb. Fence row right down through now, here. See, I could enjoy this. You're just not sitting in one spot all day. You're, no. You're working. You're working. Yeah. Uh, it, it's not a uh, sitting in one spot type deal anymore. Yeah. It's more hunting than it yeah. is fishing. Yep. And they something I love about stalking up turkey oh, hunting man. and uh, closing the deal with right. some uh, gobblers. And that's what I relate it to sure. now. And what's all that bright up there kind of at the... That's the shad, and that's okay. the trees you're looking for. The shad is up over the top. Okay. And that's one of the things that happens in the wintertime. The shad run up in these creeks, and every bait fish, or uh, every predator fish out there is going to follow those bait. Yes, they will. So we're looking at these trees, and this one has a big ball of shad over, or over the top of it. Fry 
and that's what the, the fish were after eat. Sure. So that's sure. why we're choosing these trees. Buddy, if you ain't gonna bite, you need to go on somewhere. <laughs> you get, need to get gone. Get gone. Get on out of here. Got one. Little guy. <laughs> Look Little at guy. you go, man. Woo! Look now, at you go. Right here, guys, I'd like to take a moment to thank all my sponsors. Without them, we wouldn't be able to make this happen here today. Couldn't catch that trophy like that, man. That's beautiful. Well, it's also it's good to see that there's small fish in here, sure, too. So sure. you've had a good spawn, and your lake is doing good. It's good. healthy. On the Hook is presented by Crappie Monster in partnership with All Aboard Marine, HH Rods and Reels, PTG Outdoors, and JB's Fish Sauce. Y'all fish with one rod. One rod. That's something. I lay mine down you'll here. You catch 50 or 75 fish on one rod. On one rod. Wow. And my clients catch every single fish. That's great. I had a uh, friend go with a crappie guide not long ago and said that the crappie guide hooked all their fish. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. no. He said that they, you know, that they just couldn't get that, get it down, and he would he would hook it and hand it. Uh, now, I did have one guy, he was, uh, I think he's 84 and had Parkinson's. Yeah. I had to pitch it out for him, but then I handed him the rod and he, sure. did, the, he did all the rest. Well, we're out here with Corey. We are fishing on the ledge. We are straight up ledge fishing, whether on top or down the ledge or right at the bottom. These crappie are set up just exactly the way that I thought they should be for the conditions that we had and that's why we went to google earth that's why we went to the weather app that's why we did all of our research to find out where they should be and we got here boom so that's all fish that real bright stuff there's a good one all right heck yes heck yes brother show all right look at him. Hey. where'd he go where'd he's he go? right there you got him come here heck come yes. there's see. a little trick about crappie too if you paint them on the gill plate, yes, sir. stuns them and they can't move. Well, all right. I'm gonna spot lock that here for just a second. He, okay. He throws my split shot off. I'll have to go get me another split shot. Now I can get my hand in there. That's not a bad fish at all to start no, today. No, that's a 11 and a half inch fish yes, sir. probably. Yes, sir. Just under a pound, good healthy fish. Yes, and, sir. Uh, how many did you say you wanted today? Three Man, or four? Man, i just take, yeah, three or four of them. I think we're going to do a little better than that today. I bet we will, my I friend. I bet we will. All right. Get him. Oh, there he is. There he is. That easy, boy. Another good one. Another good one. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to get the hang of this I thing. I want to get the hang of it, by gosh. Mr. Corey. All righty. Coming in there now. Heck yes. Well, he didn't swallow it like that other one, but by gosh, he was on the hook. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Good old thick back. Good fish. That there's gonna make a good fillet for you. I'll tell you what, I think your mama's gonna be happy with you when you go home. I sure hope so. Well, it was definitely a thump, just like dead sticking, man. The same thing, only just a, I wouldn't even say any lighter. Just like yeah. striper fishing, just that. That little thump. When they impounded this, uh, of course, it doesn't look like they dozed it. Was it a, uh, they just flooded crop ground or? Yeah, you know, this, this the Brazos River feeds the lake. Okay. And we are the uh, last stop on the Brazos River uh, as far as the lake. There's three lakes up and down this Brazos River. There's Possum Kingdom, Granberry, and then Lake Whitney. And uh, Lake Whitney was built really for two different reasons. And it was built uh, in the late, 40s and it was actually impounded in the 50s and that's when it was open for uh you know for boat traffic recreational use on and so forth okay and uh, the majority of this this uh this ground was uh was cropland mainly peanuts it was a peanuts a big bunch of peanut farming down in here okay and uh they yeah it's uh, also was built for flood control uh, you get a little further south down on the Brazos River and there's a tremendous amount of uh, 
uh, rice farming, um, and just various crops. How many acres is it? <clears throat> it's it's right at twenty four thousand acres. It's a, so it's it's a good size good, lake. Good size lake. It's kind of a long, lanky lake, um, and uh, it fishes big because you know you can. Oh, you, you got hollers out through oh, here it's, everywhere it's, it's, that it just, uh, you can get big. up in. Yes, sir. From a you know catfishing standpoint or a. You know, you just got lots of room to drift, but still yeah. we've got quite a bit on the, especially on the north end of the lake, uh, quite a bit of, of structure for crappie and bass fishing as well. Okay. Get in there and see if we can't find another crappie or two. Amen. On the Hook is presented by Crappie Monster in partnership with Yamaha, Avid Boats, and Red River Marine. Man, what was it got you into fishing? Just grew up fishing, brother. Just grew up doing just it. Just grew up fishing and uh, <clears throat> becoming a guide just was accident. I was working in sales up in Dallas. And, uh, what were you selling? Had a, alarm products. Alarm products. Yeah, okay. uh -huh, for an alarm dis distributor. Okay. And anyway, um, my wife and I had some, you know, had a child, and I decided I wanted to, to raise them down here. We've got a little family place down here. Okay. So we moved back down to Whitney. She had just graduated college and uh, as a teacher, and I started uh, running the beer joints a little bit and bought me a boat, and that's where I met two or three guides, and they started asking me to help them, and I thought, well, if these hillbillies can do it, I know damn well I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so... No, I really enjoyed it. It took a long time to get to the point where we are uh, now, you know, with multiple boats and a couple locations and... Got one. Got him. Heck Got yes. Him. Not a monster, but by gosh, he's probably 10 inches. Well, that's kind of, well, come here. We're gonna have to measure this one to see if he if he'll eat. He's close. He's close to ten inches. He is close. Oh God. yeah, grab it, man. Yep. He's up. Heck yeah, <laughs> baby. Good one. Yes, sir. Good fish. You don't care to smack that spot lock. That one was sitting down there by itself, and that bear choked it. Another good, that one probably is 12 inches. Yeah, he is. Not bad at all. Welcome to Texas, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Make a move here. We have fished out this fence row and we left a lot of fish back there in the fence row, so we're gonna reel our rods up, we're gonna turn the trolling motor up, and we're gonna go back down there, and we're gonna fish this same fence row again. There comes that wind. Yep. It might be a good thing we caught our fish Amen, early. Amen, <laughs> brother. Well, it got pretty windy. We had to make this last fish a team effort. This has beginnings of a good blooper reel right here. Yeah, me falling off. I, I've, I, already, I've already stepped in the live well. Off. We're gonna end up hung up like nobody's business right here, <laughs> but uh, you might have to help me out here if you don't care. Mm -hmm. Try to hold me off of that sharp get stick. It. I was hoping to be able to get, there we go, there we go. All right. All right, thank you. This is teamwork right here, guys. That's a good one. Oh, get back in that net. That's oh, a good get one. control motor. Swim away, swim away, big guy. Oh, that, that's the heaviest fish of the day. I think you are correct, sir. And I just missed a big one in there. Well, he ate it, too. Oh, man, he choked it way down deep. As I was dropping on that fish, Corey took one for the team and went back and held the back end of the boat off of the stump. And that right there is teamwork at its finest. And I do believe that is the heaviest fish we've caught today. You can see the 
belly on it where it's been out here starting to feed up for this uh, winter bite. It's getting a little bit too windy out here for me. I had to call in some reinforcements to keep me out of that tree to get that last fish in the boat. I think it's about time to go find some dry land. I'll tell you what, we have flat worked our butts off today. They made us work. But we have got a mess yes, of big have. crappie right here in Texas, Lake Whitney. I love it. Yes, sir. I don't know about you, but I'm about ready to call it today. This wind has beat us up. The wind has got us. Good deal. It has been a pleasure, though. So yes, informative. Sir. Man. <laughs> so informative. Thank you. That has been a experience for sure. Yes, sir. Y'all have got a great crappie lake right here. Well, guys, what do you think about Lake Whitney? Was that last catch something or what? It legit took both of us to get that one in the boat. But we are going to continue our tour of texas the lone star state right here right now we're hitting the road and we're heading further south where are we going to go to you'll find out next week when we see you on the hook oh i need a lake day